All right. So when we talk about higher education, we talk about going into PhD after masters. The first thing which strikes us is CSIR net, and uh, that is actually a straightforward way. That's actually a straight uh, method. If you cover your or if you complete your masters, then qualify CSIR net JRF, and with JRF you will get a fellowship. With that fellowship you can do your PhD, and you will get a stipend throughout your PhD for five years, right? So that I guess every one of you know. But what I'm going to talk about in this video is regarding gate. In the past four or five years with my experience with what I'm tracking this gate exam and CSI net, I have found that now, particularly in the past two, three years, gate exam is becoming more relevant uh, for taking higher, for going for PhD or for various other things. So a gate exam is usually misunderstood like gate is only for going into PSUs, it's only for getting jobs, but for science students, it is right, it is for uh, like for professional courses like for BTEC students and all, but for sciences like for science students like life sciences, chemical sciences, I'm talking about these students. So for us, uh, this gate exam is becoming more relevant these days. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So I'm making this video because I have found uh, lot of misinformation about it and lots of actually not misinformation but information is less regarding this so i'm going to uh, like uh, i'm going to just express my views my opinion regarding it what i have found and i hope that will help you if you want to add anything in the, into this uh, video you can add that in the comment section below all right so let's talk about this in detail all right so the first thing uh, is key gate is generally overlooked as a exam to get job after masters and yes that is correct because after masters if you want to if you don't want to go for research and if you don't want to go for higher education you want to do job and you want to do a good paid job in uh, psus that is public and sector undertakings in that case gate is going to help you a lot uh, and yes uh, this has been helping students from past many years and it, it still works but the star over here or the terms and condition is that your rank should be very high uh, means it should be very good it should be top 100 or top 150 rank so only those 100 and 150 students are called for interview and among them also very less number of students actually get uh, like a permanent job with it but yes it's not like key you will you will not get an opportunity you should try for it you should go for it if you, and if you can do that okay gate is not that difficult exam if you go with a proper approach for it so we'll make a different different video regarding the approach and all but yes uh, that is one thing which is totally correct but which portion or which part of gate i'm going to talk about is regarding admissions okay so people are not much aware about it that gate actually gives you an opportunity to do phd as well in iits in isers and nits right and all these institutes which are aicte funded aicte and ugc these are two basic or they are they are two major funding agencies which funds ugc funds all the universities like all the central level universities and uh, this AICTE, this basically funds all the technical institutes like IITs, NITs. Um, ISERs are funded by MHRD. So this is how the funding and all, and some DST institutes are also there, like, like those are funded by DST. These are all different agencies, like government has made different agencies to fund these institutes, all right? So these things you don't have to understand, but what I am trying to tell you is that GATE also gives you an opportunity to go and it opens a, a door to get into all these institutes. Now how it is more relevant than CSR net. See, in your CSR net JRF, there is a limited number of students, there is a limited number of seats. And with the time, you will see that CSR net exam is becoming, becoming more and more difficult. And uh, like earlier, it used to be said like CSR net exam is comparatively easy than gate, but now it is not like that. The level is quite on the same level. And uh, to be frank, I will say that uh, gate is becoming a little easy on the easier side than CSR net exam. Why I'm saying so? Because to qualify CSI net exam, you have to score 110 or 105 or 100 marks out of 200. So you need around 50% marks in order to qualify that. In GATE, you need around 33 or 35 or 30% 30 marks to qualify GATE exam. Uh, if you just qualify CSI net exam, uh, you get JRF and the number of students who get JRF is, is limited. Okay. But over here, when you come over here in gate, there are a big number of students who get qualified. Even if you get high rank, as I said, if you get very high rank, very good rank, like under 100 or 100, 150, in that case, of course, you will you will be able to like you will be eligible to apply for some PSU, some like ONGC and all other PSUs up uh, like they open up their applications and all. 
So that is one thing which we have. But uh, if your rank is not that good, let's say your rank is 1000 or 1500 or 2000. Even I have seen students with rank 3000, they also apply for PhD in IITs. Okay, if you want to do PhD, in that case, you can apply in IITs, ISERs, and IITs, um, and DST funded institutes. So all these places are uh, like they all call for an interview based upon your GATE score and with these uh, like with with not that great score in GATE that also makes you eligible to go for interview and once you go for interview everything is judged based upon your interview performance okay so then your rank does not that much matters the main thing which matters is how you are presenting yourself in the interview so that is one of the major benefit of GATE because it is giving you giving you an equal opportunity as your CSI net was giving you for higher education okay for PhD I'm telling CSI net was also giving you opportunity to do PhD and GATE is also giving you. Now the question comes about the stipend. So when you qualify CSI or JRF, either UGC JRF or CSI or JRF, in both the cases, you will be getting fellowship from the from the, uh, the UGC or CSI, right? Here when you come for uh, like GATE, in that case, you get fellowship from the institute and institute fellowship is what we call them. So every institute, every IIT, every NIT, they have certain amount of funding which government gives them so that they can take some student based upon their GATE performance and they can uh, consider them in their labs and the amount or the fellowship which they will get will be provided from the IIT or the NIT in which they are. Now how much amount they will get? It is totally equivalent to what CSIR, JRF people get. So it's 31,000 as of now for the first two years and then for the rest three years it is uh, extended to 35,000, right? The only thing which is different is regarding contingency and uh, HRA and those things. Uh, let's not talk about them over here in detail. I have already made a video earlier in, on this. So I'll give you a link of that in the i button. You can watch over there. I have made a detailed video on that. But uh, what is the point which we can consider from here is that gate exam is coming. And if let's say you have not performed well in your CSI net exam and you have already given that, and now you like you have in the back of the mind that you won't be able to qualify. In that case, you have a very good option, very good opportunity that you can qualify GATE exam and you can go into a good IIT, right? So even if you have not qualified CSIR or even if you are not a JRF student, in that case also you can apply for IITs based upon your GATE score. So not only these IITs and ISERs and PSUs, which gives you a portion, like GATE gives you a portionity for that, there are other institutes also like BARC, Baba Atomic Research Center is there. If you want to go for a scientist B position, over there you can go either by their entrance exam or you can go with your gate score then drdo scientist b position there also you can go either with the gate score or with their entrance exam so basically gate gives you more options more opportunities to apply on all these places and it it gives you both the fields open like it opens both the fields uh, your job profile also like you can go for different jobs also and you can also go for different places to do your phd so all in all i would say that gate becomes more relevant especially during this particular time when you're preparing for the next exam uh, what i will suggest is when you when you are preparing for the next csi net exam consider this thing in mind that you also have to prepare for the gate and try to maintain your preparation in a way so that uh, in the same time you prepare for both the exams okay though for that i'll make a video that what exactly you have to do to, for uh, like managing both the things and uh, so in that case, if you qualify gate exam, it becomes very good for you. It becomes, it opens up a lot of opportunity for you. PSUs are there, scientist B positions are there, uh, like IITs are open for your PhD. So, so many places you can apply with the gate. So that's why I say in the, in the recent time that this gate is becoming more relevant as compared to CSRnet. Now, it does not mean that CSRnet has, has not like it, its level or its, its importance has been decreased. It has its own importance. And there are always two sides of a coin. But what I'm trying to show you over here is the one side of the coin, which is generally overlooked, right? So that's all from my side for this video. And if you have any other thought regarding it, you can comment down in the comment section below. And do let me know if you want some specific information about any of these institutes, any of these positions. I'll try to make a video on that as well, all right? So that's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching. I will see in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey guys. So I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription 
so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much